Uh, 404 crew back, uh, working on the S14 again. Uh, today's video we're going to be working on installing the fuel lines and fuel filter to the engine, uh, doing intercooling piping, mounting the front mount intercooler, and just tidy up some things here and there. And also we got to get we got to ground the cable, for the ground cable on the back in the trunk. But yeah, let's get to it. Yeah. All right. Good news. So I have a. Uh, he has a little parts bin left over from the K, KA, and he managed to find some two nuts that fit the blow valve perfectly. So we're set on we're set on that. But yeah, let's start installing the cooling piping, and we're probably gonna throw the front mount in and see how exactly it's gonna go. Yep. Number five. Oh yeah! Look how pretty that looks. Starting to come like a like a nice race car. Nice and shiny. Really the only shiny thing is this in the radiator. Uh. We're just trying to figure out what pipe goes oh. where. It's okay, I need to paint up. <laughs> but yeah, um, we're about to mount the front mount intercooler. So we'll show you that after we're done with that. Man, look at that progress. Got the front mount intercooler bolted up, secured. And now we're just routing some of the intercooling pipings. We still gotta figure out how this goes over here. I'm pretty sure we gotta drill a hole out over here. And we probably gotta trim some over here to move the piping more this way. We totally forgot about this. Um, that's for the power steering. I mean, I want power steering. I know that's if we. That's if we're gonna. If we're gonna be able to run power steering. We will. Well, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, we'll show you once all the pipings are done. That's if we finish. Well, that's if we finish today. We might just finish it tomorrow. So we pick it up. We'll pick it up back up tomorrow. But nice. Looks so good. All right. Right now, Andres is trying to fit the radiator hoses into the engine to the radiator. We're probably gonna have to cut the hoses because it's a little too long. And right now, I'm fitting the fuel filter, and I gotta cut the <clears throat> fuel line to match down there. And probably in the next 15 minutes, I should be able to. Like I should be done with the fuel filter and the fuel lines, and after that we'll continue with the intercooler and inter and intercooling piping. So stay tuned for that. All right, looks like Andres got the upper radiator hose to fit perfectly in there. He's working on the lower radiator hose right now. Looks like he got that set pretty good. And I should finish installing the fuel filter and the two fuel lines. So that's all nice and pretty down there. New clamps, new filter from a 300ZX, and new lines to the fittings in here. It's starting to look pretty good. It's getting closer and closer to start up. So there's a few things here and there. Um, next thing we're gonna do is intercooling piping. 4-4 uh, four, four crew. Uh, back again the next day uh, Pretty much yesterday we were trying to draw out the battery tray But the drill ran out of juice on its battery, so we had to charge it up and now it's the next day um, So we're gonna go ahead and finish all the uh, Draw up all the spot wells that's on the battery tray. Hopefully it comes out, but it looks like it's being a bitch about it. So Yeah, we're gonna work on that and also we got to uh, probably cut up a little bit over here to be able to push the piping this way so it can line up to the turbo. But yeah, uh, let's get started on that. Well, 
right, so finally managed to get the battery tray out. Uh, I mean, it's not too hard, but it's not easy. Here's the battery tray. Um, pretty much we drilled all the spot welds, but we probably missed it off a little bit. So what we ended up doing is we cut it, like cut most of it off the cutoff wheel. Got this half of it out, and then this really just we just pried it out and hammered it out and it came right out. Oh yeah, now we just gotta clean this up a little, a little better and see where the piping gonna route to, and just make it all nice and pretty. But we also gotta <coughs> spray a little bit of paint right here so it won't rust. Oh yeah, we'll show you after we're done. So what's going on here? Trying to figure out how this goes before we drill any holes. Just looking on the base of, of the picture. I think I'm right. Oh, there we go. That one looks better right there. Okay. This right here, this one right here. Okay, I got it. Look. I'll give you enough space for the radiator right there. Yeah. And then this will connect down here. Oh yeah. And that's it. Down here to here. Ooh, look at that rust. Yeah. Ew. Oh yeah, uh, we're gonna make that hole in there, clean it up inside the berry tray area, and we'll show you after we're done. Alright, so here's the progress so far. We drilled out the hole right here for the intercooler piping. Hopefully you guys can see it. And we painted it over where we cut, so we don't want it to rust. So we also got back in hose and cut it in half. Just put it around here. And just zip tied it to be secure so it won't fall out. So that's that side, that's the passenger side. And here's the driver's side. I think driver's side came out a little better. Okay, normally it's only from here to here. This whole outer part we had to cut to make the intercooler piping fit better. So yeah, this one turned out really good. It's all smooth. It actually looks like OEM. And the same thing here, we just put a vacuum hose, cut it in half, and just wrap it around. So that way you don't even get the intercooler coupler to get cut or anything. So yeah, and we also painted this side so it won't rust. But yeah, and that's pretty much what we've done so far. So now we're gonna put all the piping we together. Can have, we can do this side. And we'll go from there. All right, we got all the pipes mocked up. Fits so nicely down the hole right there. We just gotta add the clamps, but we're just knocking it up to make sure it fits. And we also got the intercooler straighter because yesterday it was kind of like slanted down. So we made a, <clears throat> we fixed one of the brackets on the right side. We just had to bend it in like in two, three different angles to make it fit and work. But that looks like it's good now. And then on this side, it's all good here, going up the hole. Like, like, like over here, we gotta add the clamps, but it looks like it fits pretty good. Uh, we just haven't done anything over here because we still gotta buy a coupler that fits the turbo side because we don't have one. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, we'll show you after we have this installed, all the clamps installed. Once all the clamps are in, we'll show you what the final product looks. But it's coming out pretty good. 